So recently we were doing a haul and we totally forgot, or I totally forgot to bring in possibly the most important piece in my collection now. I was like, how did I forget? That's, how? Yeah, I guess. But oh. it's worth its own video. <laughs> Damn it, you know? It so, is exquisite. It is exquisite. It's uh, exceptional. Excellent. Excellent. Anything you want to say about this that's egg related, it is. As the great uh, Frank Reynolds once said. Hey! Oh man, that's wisdom for the ages, <laughs> let me tell you. Uh, so what am I talking about? I'm talking about my freaking boy, Vincent Price. Now, if you know me yeah, personally nice and intimately, even what you know you? that I love Vincent Price, okay? And here recently, I've been revisiting a lot of his classics, and it's every time, guy, the movie could suck major eggs, and this guy, his presence alone brings it up out of the ashes for me. I love him. I love him. I say, have anything to say about that, Gala? Ah! Please don't interrupt me whilst I am soliloquizing. Anyway, Gala, there's not a lot of Vincent Price no. paraphernalia out there. That's rising. Here recently, there's there's been an uptick. I sadly only recently found out that there was a Vincent Price statue that's out. And I say sadly because I don't have the money to just no. plop down for a statue out of the blue. I have to have time to collect that money. But in the meantime, <laughs> the uh, Vincent Price estate has apparently allowed other people to do Vinnie Price things. So we've been seeing things creep in and out. Mm -hmm. But the only one we've seen in person is this boy, right? Shit, guys. We're talking about Egghead. You bought this. Why well, bought this? Well, to be fair, it was on clearance. I still, but look at the picture in the back, guy. What is he, man? An egg and a man mixed yeah, together? I think his name's Egghead, yeah. We recently saw the Marvel's Egghead, and they have to designate that they're Marvel's Egghead. Yeah. There's more than one Egghead in this world, Who guy. thought, let's name a guy yeah. Egghead? Well, and then who went, let's name a guy Egghead again. You know what's weird? Egghead, I'm, I'm pretty sure he was created for the show. I haven't done a research on him because Egghead sucks. <laughs> but as as far as I, I yeah, think he's, he like a, he's like King Tut. I think he recently made his first appearance in the comic like a couple of years ago, I think. Yeah, we may be wrong about that, but I don't want to know if he was in the comic I don't want to be right, guys. I don't want to be right. The only reason I excuse Egghead is because... Egg excuse? Exactly. Excuse Egghead is because my boy Vinny played him and like Vinny always did Whenever there was some hammy stuff in the works. He knew how to ham it up enough For it to be likable. The thing is he's fighting an uphill battle with Egghead His because Egghead <laughs> as a gimmick sucks. His gimmick is that he likes egg. That's it. That's his villainous gimmick He loves egg Very likely our arch foe that egg scribble Egghead Oh, by the way, he eats egg. He eats egg constantly, speaks like, of I egg thought, puns. I thought, like, we didn't know much about Egghead, because who gives a shit? But we were like, is he, like, a vegan? Like, he, does he protect egg? That was my thinking. Like, this guy loves egg, so he protects egg. Mm -hmm. No. Turns no. out he eats egg all that the boy, time. <laughs> that, boy, that boy loves to nosh on eggs. <laughs> he guy. sucks egg. And now I could wax philosophical on egghead all day long but the fact of the matter is despite having seen the egg episodes egg episodes, or egg episodes if you will and there's not many i don't remember anything about egghead and i saw that boy saying i'm not gonna research guy no i'm sorry but i'm not going in for second helpings of egg what was that dog oh, my dog i thought it was uh egg. the eggs acting <laughs> up in my fucking bowels egg splitters will get you nowhere which brings me to this Egghead is a villain, and if you've seen the Batman show, as in Batman 66, the corniest Batman of all time, uh, well, no, that's Batman and Robin, that's the corniest Batman of all time, but anyway, you know that the villains hang out at their lairs a yeah, lot, too and much, they have, too much lair. yeah, they have a lot of goons very with little, them, very little, uh, villainy, mostly just hanging out and, hanging out at lairs, lairs with their goons that are not called Bob, which is a tragedy, <laughs> if you're hanging out at a lair, Mm. Which are usually underground in most of these scenarios. Even when they're not, you just assume they are. Yeah. You're hanging out in a dank lair with your boys that support you doing villainous shit. But you're noshing 24-7 on eggs. Yeah, egg. My conclusion can only be that Egghead's lair stinks like farts. It's gotta smell like stinky ass poots, guy. Um, <laughs> like who does that? <laughs> unless he's, unless he's got the bowels of steel. Well, may, he may have eaten so many eggs that he's just he doesn't even fart anymore. He's just used to it. Dude, you can't stop an egg fart. You can, man. You can if you just eat normal amounts of egg. But this guy this is guy literally sucks. stuffing down his I gullet twenty four seven. 
That's I think that's all he eats is egg. No, I'm pretty sure that's all he eats, guy. Thoughts on that? Yeah, who does that? The who? cholesterol must be insane. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his lair's got to stink, guy. We can only be grateful that he doesn't have a chair like Professor X, because that, that chair, chair would be chair locking would be... in the fucking stank, guy. Imagine him getting out of that chair. Hot boxing that fart 24-7. You think he enjoys his fart smell? He has to. <laughs> yes. Well, first of all, note this. Yeah. He eats a lot of boiled eggs. I'm assuming he scrambled eggs are part of the deal too. Wait, why do we know this for sure that he's eating scrambled eggs? Well, boiled, boiled, egg. boiled eggs because he usually eats the egg. In my that's mind, canon, that's, that's how point. I remember it. Him eating egg direct. Kind of like Frank. Sucking down eggs like Frank, yeah. yeah. Can I offer you a nice egg in this trying time? Yeah. yeah, dude, a freaking boiled egg fart is the worst. So here's the thing. When you boil eggs or even sometimes when you make eggs, there's a sulfur stench to them. But especially when well, you boil them, boys. Well, I must counter that. Okay. Because if you cook them properly, you can avoid the sulfurous uh Hold well, on, man. You think layer. Egghead, despite his love of eggs, was going to cook eggs properly? No. I think he's a purist. I think he wants them you shit think to so? be freaking uh, pure, dude. Or do so you he think has, he... has... He's oh. devised a method. He probably has an egg guy who all he does is freaking cook egg that, all day. That I could get behind. He has an egg guy that does it right for him. He's a villain. He has no time to do anything but enjoy eggs and plan egg-related crimes. But never... Egg-related capers, even. But never actually do any crimes. But, well, yeah. Just kind of hangs out. I would argue that eggs crimes... That's right, eggs is named now. Eggheads crimes are not crimes at all by default of them being egg-related. He should just get off scot-free. But uh, the point is, he's around the scent of boiling eggs, yeah. which is sulfurous, even if you cook them right. He definitely doesn't allow that gray layer to form around the yolk, is all I'm saying. Now let us examine this more carefully, huh? So you're saying there's no sulfur stench in the lair? No, it's I'm the, saying pre-farting. The sulfur comes solely from his ass shoot because of the farting. No not, egg, not, no egg related, no, no egg boiling related sulfur stench, just dude, ass related. Dude, I think the only time Egghead has murdered in his entire freaking exist existence uh -huh. is when that guy led a freaking uh, gray layered boiled egg into you his mouth. You think that Egghead notices when there's a gray layer? Yes, instantly. I He's think like, it tastes different. Hmm. I don't know, dude. I'd he see likes him a little, a little uh, runny in the middle, which it also seems leads to, me. to gross farts. <laughs> it seems to me that he would make no exception about whatever type of egg. As long as it's eggs, he's consuming I think it. He's a now, purist. he has a preference. Yeah, I think he's a purist, guy. But should a gray layer egg come his way, he's not going to throw the egg away. He's egghead. He's going to murder that guy for cooking it that he way. He might murder him with farts. That's, that's about it, but... He's not gonna murder I don't his think, egg man. I don't think his freaking homies would be hanging around him if he was ripping mad at what the <laughs> <laughs> Why did you turn into Kermit? Are you trying to hang out with Vincent? <laughs> Damn it. If he was if he was ripping mad ass, his boys would leave him, guy. I mean clearly they haven't left him. He has homies. Damn, that's some ride or die homies. That's some ride or die homies, guy. Or they really get off on the smell of ass egg. You think he just <laughs> you think he just Which was his original villain name, <laughs> Ass Egg. You think he just found a bunch of egg fetishists? Uh, he has to at that point, dude. That's a lot of egg to consume and not fart at least 600 times <laughs> That's a day. That's a good point. <laughs> this is gross. It leads to this question. If they are getting off on the egg fart smells, uh -huh. you think that lair smells like seam? And no, 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 no. It's like an unspoken arousal. Egghead knows they're getting off on the egg. The but no egg. one brings it up. Yeah, and they know they're getting off. Nobody's bringing it up because everybody knows instinctually that yeah. nobody would be in the lair of a man that consumes that many eggs without loving the fart. Yeah. You just, it's, it's a prerequisite at that point. I feel like if it's egg fetishes, I guess they wait till they get home to like the beast. Well, they don't, dude, if you're into something, you don't, you don't even have to get off. Physically. You just happy to just be there. Do you happy to be there? So I'm assuming his boys are just degenerate scum that love egg smell. Egg smell. Does everybody eating egg in this lair? I don't remember if the homeboys ate egg, but I'm gonna assume they did. And if they didn't, it's because Egghead was just uh, possessive of his egg. Yeah, he's like nobody's touching my eggs, guy. I think that's the case. Yeah, I like how we created an entire mythos to Egghead. What is? Hold on, boy. You didn't just slap a mosquito on my egghead, did you? I <laughs> did, dude. 
Come on, guy. I think the penguin's lair stinks. A penguin's lair obviously stinks. Like fish. I think the fact that we have established so many years of assumption of, of penguin stinking <laughs> means that anybody that plays them afterwards it stinks, stinks yeah. naturally. All right, I get it. I don't care how clean they look. Anyway, anyway this is a freaking video. Man. Freaking egghead. Theories that stink literally. <laughs> <laughs> like eggs. <laughs> and most importantly, I have an egghead to hang up on my wall. Who now. does that? I bought it! Yeah. It was five bucks, guy. You can't oh, pass okay. up on Benny Egg. You didn't freaking get Eartha Kit, but you got Egg? Well, I had to choose between the two. There was a looming uh, uh, air of dread that said, you can't have both. And I was like, I'm clearly going to choose Vincent Price. Santa baby, man. I feel like Eartha's going to be there. Egghead yeah, might not. That's, that's, a good point. that's a risk I can't take because it's Vinny. I feel like that's unfair. People passing up on Eartha. Yeah, it's unjust. It does that, man. But buying... People <laughs> ignoring Eartha. Existence? Yeah, who does it? Existence? Anyway, anyway, we ran on too, yeah, long. too long. Too many eggs in this joint. Uh, we're out, guys. Okay?